Hi, everybody. Excited to be here in front of y'all today. Um, so we have been going for about six weeks now, uh, just pretty much in training mode right now, preparing for our first away meet, which will be the SMU invite, um, which will be October 10th through the 12th. Um, following that, we will be hosting BYU and TCU here at our at our pool. So it's been really fun getting to have the teams together. This is our first year as our men's and women, women's teams are combined. Uh, they are no longer two separate programs. They are one program, and it's been a lot of fun. Their personalities are coming through. They're working hard, and you know, really just ready to represent A and M as best as possible. Who would like to get us started with questions? We'll go second row on the left side to Alex. Nice to meet you. Uh, you know, you mentioned, you know, combining the programs. Uh, how has that transition gone and just, you know, what's kind of been your focus here these first few months uh, leading this program? Yeah, the transition has been quite smooth. And, you know, that was something I was really looking forward to seeing happen and what would come of it. And the way I, you know, communicated with the team is that, when you consider who your best friend is, it's probably because you spend the most time with them. And so we're naturally, by spending more time together in the water and in training and the weight room and dry land, you're going you're gonna to build those connections and bonds. You're going to learn how to communicate with one another. And you're going to push each other. So yeah, that transition's been great. And you know, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised and super excited. We'll go third row on the left side to Luke. Hey, I know you've been here a few months. Uh, what attracted you to Texas A&M, and what are kind of your first impressions of it? And then thirdly, I suppose, uh, what are some of your goals for the program, and what do you hope it looks like down the road? Sure. Uh, so A&M was always a school that was on my radar um, in terms of coaching. You know, Steve Boltman and Jay Holmes did an incredible job with the program for the past several decades, really. And, you know, as a coach, you see programs that have what it takes to be national contending teams. And so that was really what initially attracted me was I was able to see what was here, see the possibility and the potential greatness for it. And that was, you know, one of my conversations with Trev Alberts in the, in the hiring process was like, you have all that you need here to, to win a national championship down the road. And, you know, I want to be the person that helps lead us there. Uh, so that was what attracted me there um, to here. And then as far as uh, goals for the program, you know, I do think we're in a bit of a building phase. Thankfully, we do have a lot of returning fifth years and seniors. So we have a pretty heavy upper class. Um, but, you know, for the next couple of years, it will be bringing in those talented recruits in the class of 2025, 26, 27, to really continue to set that foundation and then kind of grow from there. So, you know, will we be winning a national championship next year? Probably not. Could I see us contending for it in the near future? Absolutely. Anything else? We'll go back to the second row to Alex and then Richard. Yeah, I guess just to follow up on like combining the programs, like how, do, how does that play out tangibly? And like, what do you see are some of the benefits of it being a combined program? Yeah, I, I've had the privilege of working at several combined programs that are top tier teams. And what's cool is the accountability factor and, you know, and just the varying levels of uh, types of swimmers, right? So you put a men's team that's traditionally used to training with just a certain set of guys and you, you add the women in and now, you know, women who might be more aerobically inclined in a workout are, are providing a sense of accountability to men. So like, you know, the men don't want to lose. So there's a sense of competition in the pool every day, which is a lot of fun to coach. And so they really just kind of help each other out in that way. Um, and then, you know, in, in terms in terms of the structure of it, you know, they've never shared pool space. They they swim in the same pool, but they always swim at different times. So now we're asking them to swim in the same lanes at the same time. So it makes the environment that much more ele electric, in my opinion. Plus, we're playing really loud music, so that helps. Uh, but you know, they're all in there at the same time. They're all you know happy to be there, encouraging one another, and you know, it's it's just been a lot of fun. And then you mentioned how A&M's been on your radar. You know, did you did you have any previous connections to A&M or any interactions that that really kind of you know had you had you on A&M's radar? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, one of our assistant coaches, Allison Sweeney, she was a former student athlete here. She swam for Steve Boltman, and Allison and I have been friends for a very long time. So um, it was actually quite funny because when I was the head coach at Bernal University, I tried to recruit Allison to swim for me there. And let alone she came here and now we're working together as as colleagues. So, you know, A&M had some pretty prevalent years back in 2013 to 2016, put several uh, members on the 
Olympic team in 2016 and has had a very strong storied history of Olympic success. So, you know, it's always been one of those schools you're like, oh, okay, not only do they rank high at NCAAs and SEC conference, but they're also putting people on international uh, on the international stage. And that's something that I want to continue to do here, not only for the US, but also for, we do have a pretty large group of international students. So putting them on their uh, international teams for their home countries as well. Anything else? All right, oh, one more from Alex. <laughs> I know you came from Virginia, just being in Texas, what, what are you seeing of the, the swimming culture and, and the, the uh, you know, uh, just way, the way the, this sport is uh, in this state? Yeah, swimming in Texas is big, just like everything else, right? And I think that as we continue to step forward together as a combined program, we're gonna continue to build our confidence within the SEC and within the NCAA. And you know, I, I'm, that's truly what I'm trying to do right now is build the confidence that these student athletes have to be competitive and to be extremely relevant on all different stages. So you know, I think that they've been sliding under the radar a little bit for the past couple of years. And so it's, it's our opportunity to really bring them to the forefront and be like, hey, what you're doing is pretty incredible. What else can we do you know, um, to bring awareness to our sport? Because as we all know, you know swimming and other sports as in the changing college landscape is going to look different five, 10 years from now. So like, how can we make our sport known, right? 